morning, Jasper. Oh, good morning. Hello. Look at this guy. Good morning, folks. So after all of the chaos of launch week, we're definitely in need of some self-care, so that is exactly what we're doing. We're gonna take it nice and easy, some pampering. But before we get started, a big thank you to Lululemon for sponsoring today's video. So look at what Ryan's coworker made. A little Jasper ceramic. Oh, and he said, look, oh my. Start off our self-care day, we're gonna go out for a little adventure. Instead of doing our regular kind of neighborhood dog walk, we're actually gonna walk over to Stanley Park and do a nice little trail. You guys have never heard of Stanley Park. It's like a massive, park i guess it's like our version of central park but it's also like surrounded by the ocean there are beaches it's absolutely beautiful weather in vancouver is also finally like clearing up it's been raining for the past over a month in may but alas here we are all right so for the shorts i've got on the five inch bowline shorts wow i don't know if you can hear but it's got this abrasion resistant fabric it's super stretchy it's breathable it also has a back zipper pocket over here and then ryan's wearing the airing easy short sleeve look how nice he looks as you can see it's very stretchy but also it's super super breathable give us a good 360. wow wow <laughs> you can definitely dress it up or down. He's got the ABC pants on here. And uh, look how handsome he looks. Give us a little pose. <laughs> Jasper, are you ready to go on an adventure? Adventure time, let's go! Biker gang, biker gang. Scooter gang, scooter gang. Good. Pretty great, eh? Pretty great. Show me this cute little trail. It is a cute little trail. At night time it would be very spooky. Very spooky. Let's get out. Look. Absolute unit of a tree. Guys, exhausted. <laughs> Jasper, how was your little adventure? Yes, you had a good time. Yes, Jasper had the best time. It was mostly for Jasper. <laughs> so that was about an hour of just light trail walking. It's just nice to be surrounded by the trees, the birds were chirping, and yeah, overall just a very calm and chill start to the morning. Say bye vlog. Bye vlog. Bye. Bye. All right, so now I'm gonna take myself on a cute little coffee date. Maybe even grab a pastry, treat myself, who knows. Next up, I'm gonna go and get myself a facial. Not because my skin is desperately needing it, but I honestly just love getting my face touched or like my hair rubbed or like just any of that it makes me so relaxed. Face is looking like post facial, very glowy, very fresh. 
It was honestly just so nice to just lay and get pampered and then she did like these like gentle massages around the face and on my neck and I'm just overall, it was just exactly what I needed. And of course, it wouldn't be a Just Joe Lee self-care vlog without some delicious eats. So on my way home, I picked this up. If you watched my shorts the other day about my latest go-to meal, you know exactly what this is. It's a Vietnamese dish with some grilled lemongrass chicken, spring roll, rice, veggies, and this sauce, like just, oh. I mean, just look at it. Come on, come on. And of course, you can't forget about your hydration station. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some spring roll. The biggest thing when it comes to self-care for myself is that it has to be intentional or kind of purposeful. Not saying that, you know, every form of self-care has to be like an, an active form of self-care. Self-care for me can definitely be more passive. However, I think I have to intentionally make it passive because if not, I just end up, I don't know, just getting more stressed. Like for example, um, you know, there's been days where I just like laid on the couch and did nothing um, just as a form of just kind of like taking it easy. But at the end of that day, I just felt even more stressed. And I genuinely think it would have been a different experience if I went into that day saying, you know what, I'm gonna take this day to just kind of loaf around on the couch, literally do nothing, scroll around on social media and just have a day where I don't think about other things instead of literally not doing anything. Does that kind of make sense? I feel like it doesn't. For myself, I just need to tell myself um, and be intentional in that, you know, doing nothing is doing something for me and for my self-care and for my mental health. But yeah, honestly, how have you guys been? Because I feel like it's been a while since we last caught up. I just been so go, go, go with the launch. And now that we're wrapping up with Drop 001, I feel like I can just kind of like go back to like my regular kind of content um, and just really slow down a little bit. So yeah, what's new with you guys? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I'm just like literally talking to myself, hoping you guys are saying something to me. Hey, anyways, it feels really nice to just have a dedicated self-care day. Um, you know, I've been doing all of these things throughout the launch and even when things get hectic, you know, like going outside, going for workouts, etc. But it just feels different when it's just like a full day dedicated to just yourself. And obviously I'm very aware that I'm in a very privileged position where I'm able to take a full day to pamper myself and go to nice coffee and get facials, etc. But if you're able to today, try to do at least just one thing that is truly for yourself, not for your work, not for your partner or your friends or your family, like literally just for yourself. And then just come back to this video and then comment below and let us all know what you did to take care of yourself. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish eating my food, chill at home for a bit, and then I'll probably see you guys next when I get ready for the gym. Okay, peace. Hello, sleepy puppy. Hello, hello, dummy rubs. Uh, you need this, Jasper. Here you go. <laughs> Good evening. All right, so here is what the gym fit is looking like. Up top, this is the Dry Sense training shirt, which has now taken the place of my go-to workout shirt. Before, it was the Metal Ventec 2.0. However, I just prefer the fit of the Dry Sense. I'd say the Dry Sense has definitely a bit more of like a tapered um, silhouette, whereas the Metal Ventec is more of a classic fit. So, you know, whatever floats your boat. At the bottoms, we've got the License to Train short. It's got that similar kind of abrasion resistant fabric to the bowline short. It's super stretchy, very durable. But yeah, here's the full fit. Let's go break a sweat. Downey and... Yeah. Yes, 
that was a spicy workout. Deadlifts, some push press, some conditioning at the end. It was very spicy. As you can probably tell by the monstrosity of my hair, when it gets like sweaty and wet, it starts like curling in and like splitting. It looks fucking gross. I think about chopping my hair off almost every single day. But I think before I do that, I'm gonna perm it. But yeah, folks, I think that's pretty much it for this self-care vlog. I feel like pretty much every single one of my self-care vlogs kind of follows like a very similar routine, which, you know, makes sense. It's what works for me. But essentially, it comes down to getting some fresh air and going outside, moving your body, breaking a sweat, eating some good food, and being surrounded by people you love. And like I mentioned before, just because that's a format that works for me doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work for you, so just do what works for you. Once again, a big thank you to Lululemon for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna leave all the products mentioned in the description box. On that, thank you guys for watching and remember to be less shitty. Bye guys.